And number 10, Cara Delevingne. Cara Delevingne has sparked major concern after the paparazzi captured photos of the star outside the airport and the star was pictured wearing no shoes and her hair was pretty tangled. After reportedly getting kicked off of Jay-Z's plane, Cara has sparked so much concern that even her family is talking about some kind of intervention for the model so she can get the help she needs. Previously, Cara was diagnosed with ADHD, which could explain her recent behavior. However, there is a pattern we've been seeing with her lately and it can't be dismissed so easily. In the past, she has admitted to dabbling with substances at the start of her career, so it could be a relapse we're seeing. Either way, if the star is in any kind of trouble, she definitely has a number of devoted friends and relatives to call on or who will reach out to get her help through this tough time. And number nine, we have Kanye West. Kanye West's behavior has been truly concerning to watch over the last couple of weeks. And we kind of have to feel bad for the guy. The drama all started when Kim Kardashian went public with her relationship with Pete Davidson back in 2021. During this time, Kanye has had several public outbursts, most recently on social media related to Kim's and Pete's relationship. However, Kanye has also been making headlines for his anti-Semitic actions and posts, which has led to a lot of companies like Adidas and Gap to end their partnership with him and Instagram and Twitter have also added restrictions to his accounts. Now, Kanye does suffer from bipolar disorder and his actions could be spiraling out of control due to him being unwell. However, it's really hard to be compassionate towards someone who's spewing so much hate when they still have the knowledge of how hurtful these words may be. However, it's clear Kanye is struggling with something and it's really sad to see his career fall like this. And number eight, we have Billy Ray Cyrus. People have been excusing Billy Ray Cyrus for his new fiance, Fire Rose. The couple first met on the set of Hannah Montana over a decade ago when the star was 13 years old. The two started getting close to another, why they were making music together. And when Fire Rose posted a picture of her and Billy Ray Cyrus, fans were quick to point out that the star was clearly being and the couple was using a lot of Facetune to cover up the fact of their enormous age gap, which added even more feel to the grooming issue is that Miley Cyrus has been completely strained by the relationship and the once close duo are no longer communicating with each other any longer. Then we have Cara's Suicide Squad co-star and bestie Margot Robbie. According to reports made by TMZ, Margot was another famous pal of Cara's who popped a visit to her home on that same Wednesday. In Margot's case, she was photographed taking off from Cara's house looking visibly distressed and in tears. In photos, Margot is pictured with a reported bag of toiletries. Her visit came in light of Cara's then latest incidents, indicating that she might not be okay. Margot was described to still be distraught several hours after leaving Cara's residence around 5 p.m. Similar to Poppy, nobody knows if Cara was inside when Margot showed up. At number six, we have Jay-Z. One of Cara's most heavily reported incidents over the past few weeks have been her getting forced to depart off the rapper's private jet while she was experiencing a reportedly erratic display at an LA airport. The British model's family and friends remain in fear that they will need to soon host an urgent intervention for the English star after witnessing her recently questioning behavior. This occasion was also the time when shocking photos and videos of Cara emerged online, showing her twirling around the airport with no shoes on. Cara also reportedly had bruises littered on her arm and her hair was unbrushed. This also followed up on her behavior prior to when she appeared to be out of the sort while smoking and also from her quote, wild behavior at her Ibiza party with her loved ones. At number 5 we have Doja Cat. Another female rapper whose presence Cara graced at the 2022 Billboard Music Awards was the need to know musician Doja. At the time, Cara donned every headline you can think of for her odd behavior regarding Megan, both prior to and during the awards ceremony. But these weren't the only things that caught the media's attention. While seated for the show, Cara was brightly stationed front and center and on either side of her was Doja and Megan. A fan recorded video showed Megan and Doja who were both nominated for a big award holding a regular conversation. The actress soon pops her head out seemingly out of the blue while they're discussing and chimes into their conversation. Doja, who noticed her presence right away in surprise, but seemed to not know Cara was there prior to her jumping in, said, oh my god, hi Cara Delevingne. In a since viral clip, Megan and Doja seem to chuckle the encounter off. However, this is where things get a little weird. While they all seem fine at the event, when it was over, Megan took to her Instagram stories to celebrate her win and the night. In one photo Megan reposted from a fan account, she and Doja are posed together smiling. But fans quickly pulled up the original photo and attempted to piece two and two together. In the OG, Cara was sitting between both rappers and it resultedly ended up being edited out Diddy style from the snapshot. At number four, we have Lady Mary Chaltreuse. Starting with the fact that Mary has been sober since 2018 and Cara is supposedly spiraling nowadays, with reports saying she's falling back into her addiction, this may be proof that this particular friendship could be exposing more than they think. 
Both are people of importance in Hollywood who came from affluent upbringings and run in the same inner circle. The longtime friends were also both celebrating Cara's exclusive 30th birthday party together in Spain. But despite their closeness, many spectators of Cara's situation have hinted that Mary could be the most concerned for her besties nowadays. And number three, we have Travis Scott. Now, Travis Scott is known for causing some pretty outrageous, raging incidents when he invites his crowds at concerts into mosh pits, crowd surfing, stage diving, and other wild behaviors. All of his shows teeter on the edge of mayhem, and Travis' behavior has left him with a handful of lawsuits, and he's also been arrested twice on public disorder charges related to the ties of his concerts in 2015 and 2017. The rapper consistently encourages his fans to ignore security measures and rush the stage at large events. Astroworld became a real fatal event that caused some major lawsuits that we're most likely not going to see resolved anytime soon. Travis needs to find a way to feed off the crowd's energy while making sure everything is safe so everybody can enjoy the process and feel comfortable attending the shows. And number two, we have Kim Kardashian. Lately, Kim Kardashian has been sending a damaging message to her young fans with her shrinking frame. Kim's comments about her diet under the pretense of clean eating to shed a few pounds definitely has only increased the pressure of young women to have to feel skinny skinny to feel and look good. When Kim had three weeks to fit into a dress for Met Gala, the star pretty much starved herself and did everything she could to make sure the dress fit. However, her comments about crash dieting have represented a dangerous trend to come back into fashion. With eating disorders in young Younger generations becoming increasingly more prevalent. Kim shouldn't be encouraging her fans dangerous weight loss techniques, and she should be showing how important food is to our bodies. And at number one today, we have Drake. Following a stunt of fake promotions with Drake and 21 Savage recent album, Her Loss. Drake's behavior on the album has definitely caused a stir on social media, and not for the right reasons. Since the album's release on Friday, Drake has been receiving a lot of backlash over the song Circo Loco. The controversy stems from the track's opening verse, where he seems to reference an incident that occurred between Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez back in 2020. The lyrics have definitely ignited a debate about Drake's intentions and who he really is after the lyrics have prompted a response from fans and entertainment figures such as Megan. It's clear that Drake tried to gain some clout by sneak dissing Megan, and none of us were here for it. I definitely expected more to come from this Canadian star, but it seems like this once humble side he had has faded away, and he's starting to become someone we no longer recognize today. Number 10, we have the Grammys. Back in March, the Grammys made the ultimate decision to bar West from performing due to his concerning online behavior. A rep of the artist confirmed that the team received a phone call informing Kanye that he had unfortunately been removed from the lineup from performers for the show due to his behavior. Ultimately, the decision was made because Kanye was having a performance on the live network television would be a risky situation based on his social media post and activity in the past few months. With his online harassment with Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian, the Grammys was scared he might use the stage to continue the harassment, and they did not condone this and made the decision to ban Kanye from performing and I don't blame them. Number nine, we have Instagram. Instagram restricted and deleted content from Kanye's page after the star violated the social media platform's rules and guidelines after the star made some pretty serious comments towards the Jewish community. A Meta spokesperson confirmed that they decided to impose restrictions on the account as the posts broke strict guidelines and temporarily stopped Kanye from posting for 24 hours. This isn't the first time West has been restricted on the social media platform as his account was suspended back in March after he hurled racial slurs at the Daily Show host Trevor Noah back in March, and this probably won't be the last. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Number eight, Twitter. Just hours after Kanye was suspended off Instagram, Twitter ultimately decided to ban Kanye as well after the star didn't learn his lesson and continued to throw more shade towards the Jewish community. The tweet stayed up on the platform for a couple of hours, and it was removed and replaced with, this tweet violated Twitter rules. Within the past week, Kanye West has been on social media as he continues to defend himself for wearing his WLM t-shirt and accused Kim Kardashian of being their daughter Chicago West. Clearly having the ban after returning to Twitter, he posted a photo of himself and Mark with a caption saying, Look at this mark, 
How you gonna kick me off Instagram when you used to be my friend? With many users calling for West to be permanently banned, it's going to be interesting to see what comes to light days ahead. And number seven, Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller has come out to apologize for a long list of bizarre and often very aggressive behavior. Many of the allegations have accused the actor of forming a cult and, and brainwashing in the star's apology, he did try to blame his troubles on his mental health and he said he was going under treatment to get help. However, a string of strange tales that start with Ezra breaking into a house to steal bottles to a restraining order shows that the star's behavior is clearly concerning and the fact that Warner Brothers Studios has chose to stand by the star and continue to film with him is even more concerning and upsetting to many. Now, while his actions could be driven by some type of mental breakdown to release pressure, the accusations have been outrageous and handing him big your roles isn't going to curb the problem, and we're just gonna see the stars spiral more out of control from here on out. And number six, Will Smith. There definitely wasn't any honor in Will Smith's actions and behavior at the 2022 Oscar ceremony. We all have had the chance to gather our own thoughts since watching the incident occur between Chris Rock and Will Smith, and many have worried that Will has been heading towards a mental breakdown, especially since his wife has been coming out with dominating headlines saying she never really wanted to marry Will during her Red Table talk show. Now, there's definitely been a lot of red flags to Will's behavior that we should have noticed for years with his insecurities and fragile ego. Since the incident, Will has been reportedly getting himself into therapy and he's issued an apology to Chris Rock. Chris has denied the apology for now. However, after time, we may see this duo become great friends later on in their careers after they both forgive and move on from this embarrassing situation. And number five, Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish has been Hollywood since the beginning of her career. However, her new relationship with Jesse Rutherford has definitely been the center of a huge dating speculation that sparked some concern among fans. After the two were spotted hanging out on two different occasions, and the idea of these two dating hasn't exactly settled well to any of us due to the two's 11 year age gap. Now, this wouldn't be the first time that Billy's been involved with someone a decade older than her. However, Jesse has known Billy since she was 15 years old, which makes her relationship pretty questionable in this situation. Now, neither Neither have yet to publicly confirm their relationship, and with all the criticism surrounding the internet, we probably won't see one until this situation settles down a little more. And number four, we have Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez's recent behavior has caused a fallout between her and her former best friend and kidney donor. With the rift spilling out all over social media this weekend, in Selena's new documentary, My Mind and Me, she detailed her health struggles, but gave no mention of her best friend. Now the two have unfollowed each other on Instagram following the release of the documentary, and her best friend was so irked by Selena's quote about Taylor Swift that she even branded it as interesting in the comments below. Selena went on to say, I never fit in with the cool groups of girls that were celebrities. My only friend in the industry was really Taylor Swift. Now that one definitely had to hurt and if I was Selena's best friend at the time, I would have definitely dumped her as well. So how do you feel about this situation? And let me know in the comments below. Three, the NBA. The NBA is a highly competitive league just like many other professional sports leagues. There's a lot of rules imposed on players and the teams. While Wes didn't get banned from attending the events, his basketball shoes did. And when Wes teamed up with Adidas to create the Yeezy's first basketball shoes, he was so excited about the product he worked on for three years. Before Kanye could have an Adidas athlete don his Yeezy basketball shoe, the NBA scrubbed them off the list of shoes that were approved to wear during the season. While the sneaker color doesn't violate the league's restrictions, the NBA found the three meter reflective heel panel distracting for both arena spectators and television viewers, causing the NBA to ban it from the game. Number two, Saturday Night Live. Kanye has allegedly been banned from appearing on any Saturday Night Live show as a result of his very public meltdown and feud with Pete Davidson over Kim Kardashian. While SNL isn't afraid to tackle any story on head, it's said you will no longer see Kanye on the show or hear his name ever mentioned again. While the show doesn't have a list of banned celebrities, everyone knows behind the scene it exists. There are certain people who are so awful they'll never be invited back. And and then there's people like Kanye who are great on TV, just not worth all the drama. 
Number 1. Kim Kardashian's Home In January, Kanye West told Jason Lee that he was blocked by security for entering his ex Kim Kardashian's house while trying to visit his four children. West then goes on to say that the reason for not being able to enter the property is because Kim Kardashian's boyfriend at the time, Pete Davidson, was in the house, and Kim wanted to avoid any confrontation between the two stars. Kanye then sent two of his cousins to speak with Kim, and they noted that security was wasn't going to get in the way of Wes seeing his kids, and that his kids weren't going to use TikTok without his permission. There's no wonder why Kim Kardashian made the decision to keep her children from seeing Kanye's outburst. And number 10, we have her friendship with Amber Heard. A lot of Kara's recent behavior has been linked back to when she started hanging out with Amber Heard. After being romantically involved with Amber Heard, it's been said that the two were organizing Hollywood swingers parties that exposed Kara to the lifestyle filled with alcohol and substance instances that are initially behind the model's downward spiral. Now, it hasn't been said how involved Kara was into planning these parties, however, she has been pictured attending them. It's also been said that recently Kara went to ask Amber for help and the star turned her away. This also made fans speculate that Kara may still have had feelings for Amber and that their falling out triggered her recent fall. At number 9, we have the LA airport. Now, Kara's most recent behavior has not only had fans concerned, however, her family and friends are as well. Back in early September, it was reported that Kara showed up two hours late for a flight on Jay Z's private plane. However, plans were obviously changed as Kara and her dog deboarded the plane after about 45 minutes of being on board. Now, no one has confirmed if Kara was kicked off the plane or if she left voluntarily. However, she was pictured really jittery on the tarmac and was seen dropping her phone several times while speaking on it. After a member of Kara's entourage spoke to airport staff, the model's bags were removed from the plane and placed back into the SUV she arrived in and then she got into the SUV herself before being pictured dangling her feet out the window while her driver drove off. And at number 8 we have the Met Ball. Every first Monday in May every year, some of the world's biggest A-listers get invited to attend the Met Gala. Kara was invited this year and left a lot of fans feeling concerned about her health and safety. This year's dress code was Gilded Glamour. Now Kara looks stunning in her gold torso and red fitted pants, however, a video of Kara attending the event would soon take over the internet following the event, and in a clip you can see Kara posing for cameras in her outfit, however while she was posing, she appeared to be shaking and twitching strangely. As the model turned to walk away, you could also see her back moving oddly. Now this would leave fans incredibly concerned about Kara's health. With one fan noticing Kara's absence after the gala, she took to Twitter to say, have we heard anything about Kara Delevingne shaking at the Met Gala? I'm concerned. After the event, Kara would kick off a number of different odd behaviors that would send friends and family into a frenzy to try to get the star some help. Number 7. Chicago's Birthday Party In January, Kanye West claimed that Kim Kardashian banned him from attending Chicago's birthday party. West took to Instagram in a video to say, Just wishing my daughter a public happy birthday, I wasn't allowed to know where her party was. Sources, however, said that initially Kim and Kanye had planned on having two separate parties and their daughter and Kanye was set to have his party Saturday at 4 p.m. Insiders then later confirmed the allegations were untrue and Kanye was given information about the party as he was spotted in attendance while talking to Chris. Number 6. Sierra Cannon After the rapper published a series of now deleted Instagram posts detailing his feud with ex-wife Kim Kardashian over where their children should be schooled, Kim decided to take swift action after her husband revealed the name of her children's private school and hired additional security to guard the entire school. Kim is allegedly paying the bill for the increased protective measures which are taken to prevent strangers and Kanye from showing up at the school and potentially harming the Kardashian West children and their schoolmates, now that their location has been made public information. I just hope Kanye realizes putting himself first in this situation really put his kids and their classmates in danger, and going forward, I hope he'll choose to keep private matters more private. Number 5. MTV Video Awards 
Over the past 40 years, the VMAs have brought us some unpredictable and iconic moments in the music industry with the biggest stars. However, back in 2009, after Taylor Swift attempted to accept her award for best video by female artist, Kanye took to the stage in a heated moment to say, Taylor, I'ma let you finish, but Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. This outburst, however, didn't get Kanye disbarred from the event, though it wasn't until 2015 when Kanye reprised his most infamous stunt that earned him from being barred from all future award shows. 4. Kris Jenner's Home Back in 2015, Kris wasn't happy when daughter Kim Kardashian demanded the momager allow her family to move in while contractors completed the renovations on the bathrooms in Kim and Kanye's bedroom. In a clip that aired on Keeping Up With The Kardashian, Kris is heard saying, I would have to make a run for it. Kim then went to ask Kylie who was quick to say nobody is staying at my house. With Kim at the time being pregnant, Chris did let her move in for a short time, but Kanye wasn't allowed. There was much speculation to why the rapper was banned from the house, with the biggest reason being Kanye has never been a welcoming figure in the Jenner home for a visit, let alone for an extended period of time. At number three, we have breaking social media silence. After sparking her concern with her recently disturbing behavior, Kara's family reportedly set to hold an intervention for the star. However, Kara broke her silence when she proudly wished her friend and designer a happy birthday. She also would say that the collection Kara Loves Carl was now available and how she was incredibly proud of it. The model then went on to note that the New York Fashion Week event looked amazing and asked Carl to tag her in all of his Times Square pictures. Kara was set to be at the event, however, many noticed she skipped out after a series of events sparked that the star had displayed some pretty odd behavior and needed help. Number two, trolling Megan the Stallion on the red carpet. Remember back in May when Kara took it upon herself to erratically interrupt Megan the Stallion's red carpet moment at the Billboard Music Awards? Well, essentially the actor was caught on video peeking around a gator board and yelling at Megan while she posed for red carpet photos at the event. A few seconds later, Kara would then and decide to put her bag down and jump into the frame while grabbing the train of Megan's dress and posing with her for photographs. Now, this behavior just came after Kara showed strange behavior prior at the Met Ball when she was captured appearing to be twitching and shaking when walking the red carpet. Now, Kara did later address the viral photos during an appearance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. The model then joked that she was working as her personal assistant before telling Fallon that she was actually in Las Vegas with friends and really wanted to see Megan perform so she asked her to come along with her. Ultimately, the model said she was just trying to live her best life and that she had no shame that the people found her behavior odd. At number one, we have the intervention. Now, Kara's friends and family have grown so concerned for Kara's health and safety that they are desperate to get the star into rehab so she can get the help she needs. TMZ reported that sources have said that the model's friends are worried that the star is struggling with a combination of mental health and substance abuses. With Margot Robbie recently being pictured leaving the model's Los Angeles home looking distressed and wiping tears away from her face, TMZ has reported she was distraught over what she allegedly saw in her friend's home. Kara has not confessed she is battling addiction. However, in the past, the star has confessed to dabbling with things in the past. With all of Kara's odd behaviors hitting headlines lately, a close friend told Sun that a couple of friends are looking about staging some kind of intervention to make sure Kara can get the help she needs. And one friend has even begged the star to go to rehab after having enough with her erratic ways. Friends are desperately trying to get Kara to understand it's not too late for her to get help and that rehab would help get her back on track. However, Kara continues to think there isn't a problem and she doesn't know why her friends are going on about how. However, Kara continues to think that this isn't a problem and she doesn't know what her friends are going on about. At number eight, we have Poppy Delavine. According to numerous reports, Poppy visited Kara's West Hollywood home last Wednesday morning. News outlets didn't state what she was there for as she most likely didn't give reporters a reason. However, it was detailed that Poppy exited the house around 11 a.m. to leave in a black SUV. Poppy did inform them about an update on Kara, where she told them Kara was doing fine nowadays. It's still unknown whether or not Kara was home while Poppy was visiting, though. Still, further media news released pieces that the socialite had rushed over to her sister from London because she was concerned for Kara's well being with all the public incidents she was experiencing mixed in with her no show events. It's a well known fact that Kara and Poppy share an incredibly close sisterly bond. 
And number, and number seven, we have the Burning Man Festival. Now, if you've ever been to the Burning Man Festival, you know that attendees pretty much have to fend for themselves as they are required to bring their own food and water into the middle of the desert while participating in the festival activities. With there being no food trucks or shops at the festival, once you run out, it forces festival goers to fend for themselves and rely on a trading program with other attendees. So with Kara being unable to shower and the fact she probably barely ate anything while attending the festival, it came to no surprise to many that she would look completely destroyed in a parking lot after attending the festival. However, after a series of public episodes, Kara's friends and fans have reportedly started to worry about the star's mental health in recent weeks as her behavior and fallout with friends led to her weekend of partying at the festival and many were feeling guilty that they weren't there for the star when she needed it the most. And number six, we have when she missed New York Fashion Week. When Kara missed New York Fashion Week, even fans started to worry about Kara's recently odd behavior. Kara recently collaborated with German designer Carl Langerfeld to produce a collection of genderless clothing and accessories. With the two working hard to produce the collection, for the last few years, Kara would highlight that the two were very proud of what they created and how they created it. Now, the line launched globally on September 8th, and the capsule of the launch took place at New York Fashion Week, and the only thing missing at the launch was Kara. Now, her absence would cause more to worry among her fans and family, and it then would cause some to start pointing out some of the models' pretty odd decisions over the last couple of months. It's hard to say why Kara would miss an event for something she planned so hard for for quite some time now. However, it definitely is concerning that she didn't show up to support the line or her friend. At number five, we have Fidget's Excessively Live on Kelly and Ryan's show. Now, if you watch Kara's appearance on Live with Kelly and Ryan back in July, then you know Kara's excessive fidgeting was definitely concerning to watch. The 29-year-old model during the show was unable to stop rubbing her hands together as she spoke to the two hosts, Kelly and Ryan. At one point, Kara even noticed she was unable to stop fidgeting with her hands and Kara could be seen looking at her hands, clasping them together in an effort to stop moving them. While the actress and model looked stunning in her cream colored outfit, her strange behavior definitely overshadowed her talk show appearance. Now, her appearance also came just days after she was spotted acting strangely in a parking lot upon returning back from the Burning Man festival. So at the time, she she could have been still coming down from the festival, but it's hard to say what's really going on with the model as she hasn't addressed it herself. And number four, prude realization. So Kara has recently come out to say she was shocked to discover she was more prudish than she previously believed she was after receiving some pretty ridiculous requests for her upcoming appearance in a docu-series. The model has revealed that when she walked in, she got the impression that she would be in a classroom and that she would have been given a notepad. However, when she arrived, all that was there was a pink leather exercise mat and six people telling her to take her clothes off. And the model wasn't exactly comfortable with this. The statement also comes after the star walked her first red carpet in weeks after a series of disturbing public appearance that left many to worry about the star's mental health. The star then went on to say she was surprised to learn she was prude because she always liked to think of herself as trendy, calm, and an open-minded person. At number three, we have all-rounder Rihanna. The supermodel and Rihanna are actually super close and have been for quite a few years now. Given the inner circle Cara runs in though, alongside her DGAF attitude, it may not be all that surprising to know that she has a personality so similar to her close friend known as the Queen Riri. The entrepreneur and superstar and Cara first introduced themselves to one another at a fashion show. The pair would later star in Luke Besson's then eventual film Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. When Cara spoke about this experience of theirs once to Glamour, she stated, I've seen her work in the studio, in concerts, in meeting, but to see her act was incredible. And while they do more than just party together, whenever they do, they clearly always have a great time. When Rihanna turned 30 in 2018, Cara posted an Instagram collage of them having fun in honor of her besties bash. Outside of their personal affairs, the two even support each other professionally. Cara walked Rihanna's 2020 Savage X Fenty runway for the Business Bosses fashion show. At number two, we have Sienna Miller. Now, Sienna and Cara have quite similar behavior, and if you take a moment to even confirm this, you'll find tons of articles on their party animal ways. Furthermore, Sienna is basically dubbed as another enabler 
color in Kara's life, as she is someone who Kara frequently allows her wilder side to shine with. This kind of dependence in the relationship could very well have played a hand in some of the recent reports of Kara floating around. However, Sienna is still considered to be one of Kara's closest friends, especially because of Sienna's friendship with Poppy. Reports detail that Poppy and Sienna lived together in New York after they left school. An apparent close insider to both Sienna and Kara informed Page Six back at the beginning of the year that the duo were a pair who enjoyed a wild time together quite often and that they've been longtime friends because of this. The insider was referencing a kiss Sienna and Kara reportedly shared in a club at the time. At number one, we have Ajira Aboa, who met Kara while they were both still teen models. The pair did a featured sit down with Glamour back in 2017, and in it, they spoke of their memories together and the fact that they couldn't figure out when their exact meeting happened. Ajira solely remembers Kara, quote, walking around on the street of London in a cardboard box. As the two recalled some of their earliest bonding moments in their life together, they giggled about the time they were at Glastonbury, as well as their first trip to the Burning Man Festival. According to Kara, they were driven to the event by a woman who was pregnant and blind. When speaking on the basis of their friendship, Ajira described it as so. People call us model best friends, but we were friends before. What I've always been grateful for in our friendship is that we expect absolutely nothing from each other, just friendship. Kara and Ajira even share a matching tattoo of a half red heart inked onto their hands to symbolize the close genuinity of their friendship. Oh, <laughs>